in this game at least. At least I don't know what it looks like in Radiant Dawn. Yeah, I'll use the Iron Blade, why not? Of like a bit of grape juice. Hey, you! Why don't you lay down your weapons and walk out of here with your lives? You can posture as much as you want, but there's no way you can beat us. Shut it! I don't know what. I don't know why you're here. If we lose our cargo, we lose everything. It ain't happening. In that case, we have no choice. You'll receive no mercy from us. Ow! No! Cut! Oh! Cut you! It's kind of disastrous there, Ike. Oh, hello. Bonk! Cut you! Ike is hurting now. Oh, Jesus. No! You fail. Silly. Blink. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> I said I'm only allowed to beat Makalov! Dang. Hey, Ike! Oh. Okay, if you die here, you're on your own. Marsha, what kept you? Family matters. I see. So is the big clunk over there! I assume that's their leader. Not even introduced him right. <laughs> Here we go. Gashalama, he's a berserker. He drops the killer axe and he has a crit bonus. So be wary when you attack him up close. You just might get hurt. Marsha could this one around this guy, it's this is good. You you're just like us. You eat meat, you ride horses. I mean, come on. Hey! That's insulting! We're not hurting any humans here. What's wrong with buy it and being sold a few half breeds? Uh Quiet, Bear Man! Uh Bear Rage! Marsha Rage! How did this happen? I've lost everything. But Bear Zerker! Uh. Level up! HP! Magic! A killer axe! I don't need that. All done, Ike! Our duty is done. Let's grab the cargo and get out of here. Ah, that was fun. The Grail Mercenaries have returned. Well done! The news of your victory is welcome, and the, as, as is the cargo you seized. Now about your payment... Wait. This mysterious cargo was a bunch of really heavy crates. Would you tell me what they contained? That... Your job was to deliver the cargo. You've no need to risk it further. But... Princess Lydia has returned to her quarters. You would do well to inform her of your safe return. Uh. It appears that the apostle will handle your payment on the morrow. Perhaps you can speak with her then. I beg your leave. I must be going. Very well. Ooh, cutscene.
hey, Kurf Naga's there. And... Is that Jordan Root? No, let's not, not make that reference. Kanigus! Although he does look like Jordan Rudis. Salute! We... Well, well. There's the barn. Some guy in blonde. There's a Saul suave. So, something's gonna go down between the lagoons, apparently. Let's find out. Thank you all for coming, my fellow Lagoos Kings. It's been techie since all of us were gathered in one place. I will extend my gratitude to King Indigitsi of Goldola, who arranged this meeting at the place of short notice. It was nothing, King Kanegus. Fellow kings and country, attend to my words. As you know of her, Jade has invaded Crimea and overrun her. Of course, Crimea is a Bjork nation. However, since the time of her founding, she has made every effort to engage the Lagoos with honor and dignity. Never has this been more true than during the third year reign of good King Ramon. During this era, Gap and Crya initiated many ambitious cultural projects in an attempt to bring our divided people closer. Yet one man has always reveled our work, the Dane King Ashnar. Why he took this recent course, however, I do not. Ashnar's actions are monstrous. He's always put much of Crya to the sword. Her people from terror. Her king lies dead. And now the Dane force continue their ruinous mar march across the border in the Goose territory. It's a Gallia. That trespass, O King of Lions, is because your country chooses to harbor King Crimea's orphan, is it not? Yes, that's just Kishin of the percent. But the Princess of Crimea is no longer in Gallia, is she? Your spies are as vicious as ever, King Tabonophonesis. As you say, the Princess has already departed for Begnion. I know this only because she came to the aid of a ship carrying Begnion's apostle. Ah, so Princess Lysia is safe in contact with Begnion Empire? That news gladdens my heavy heart. I do not believe that Dane yet has this information. If word got out that the Princess of Crimea has been granted sanctuary in Pregnion, Dane might halt the invasion of, of Gallia. Your information is dated, Hawk King! Have, you let, have your legendary eyes and ears abandoned you after all these years? You have something you wish to say? Would you be so kind as to explain yourself, King Kilvis? Princess Lincia barely escaped Crimea while, with her life and then fled to Gallia. And yet a certain king of beasts there, one, one on whom she had pinned all hope, chose not to support her. <laughs> Ouch. With the last turn, the princess and her retinue spent two long months at sea, arriving at Pegna a mere days ago. Dane knows of these events as well, and the king has dispatched a team of hunters to make a corpse of the girl. And that, your kings, is the latest news, at least to the best of my poor knowledge. Dane knows the princess is breaking on. King kills. How did you come to this, this, this information? Why, there's no trick to it. I just pick up my ears and point them in the right direction. You expect us to believe that stray wind carried into your ears? This is an odd tale, Nasala. Hmm, do you think it's so? Well, there is one trick for information gathering that I know. Shall I share it with you? If it involves dealing with human scum, I'll pass. Full grown my goose prize, nothing I'm willing to do. Ha! Is that always the way the Phoenicis to cling to those last ten remnants of pride? Instead of proclaiming that you will attack none but begging on ships, just admit that you don't have the power to do more. What did you say? Both of you will desist at once. King Nesal of Kills, your actions of late can be indeed be jumps as too extreme. Black Dragon King of Goldor, what do you pretend to know actions? Please enlighten me. I would remind you to know the Bjork ship you attacked the Phoenician waters and the in Goldorian territory. Oh, that. Nasala, you lying crow! You've been sneaking about my territory again, have you? I heard from my own son, Kurf Naga, that a Bjork from the Princess Crying was on board that ship. It is true. What? King kills you. Don't 
Ah, surprised. I had no intention of ruining some tiny Aisha near ever. I will make you as a name to remember. To that end, no amount of gold is enough. Look who's or Bjork, I care not. If the pay is right, there's nothing I won't do. I care not about the reach of your ambition, but you should choose your methods with more care. What good will it do if you expand your domain only to find enemies at your, at your every border? I will take your words to heart for the time being. I do two king pieces. What good will you your piracy do if it earns the wrath of Pignon? Continue with this pace, and there's no telling what hostilities will end. Until the people of Begnion apologize for the slaughter of our brother Herons, I will do no such thing. Prince Racers and Sorcerers, are you of the same mind? Those humans burned Serenus Forest and killed my people. No amount of human blood can, can slake my thirst for vengeance. For my siblings, for my countrymen, I demand justice. I cannot even turn my bedridden father for a forest home. 